It's time for Side Scrollers from Screw Attack with your hosts, Stuttering Craig. Die, 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 die. <laughs> Chad. I'm not having any fun. The plot's gone all to hell. And any second now, the outro is probably going to come in and cut us off from whatever we're. And Professional Jerry. I hope your pretty little hands aren't tired, because you're going to make me a coat hanger. And now. Broadcasting from the World Screw Attack headquarters in Dallas, Texas, it's Five, The Side Scrollers. What's going on, everybody? Hello, I'm Stuttering Craig. I'm Chad. And I'm Jared. Good afternoon, good day, good morning to you, everybody. Hello, welcome to the most entertaining 30 to 45 minutes of your video game week. It is Side Scrollers on ScrewAttack.com. I hope you're having a great day. Chad, are you having a great day? I am now. Jared? Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> all right, so now I'm not. Yeah. God. Mm, mm, poop. Hey, you want to get a movie break? from Final Fantasy? I'm sorry to hear that, man. Wait, when, when can we expect that review to go up? Uh, hopefully soon. All right, that's pretty broad. <laughs> all right, very good. Hey, just a few reminders about things coming up on the site. Uh, Screwing Around Now is at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time as opposed to 4.30 Central Standard Time, which is what it was last week, but now it's 3.30, 3 o'clock because we moved. So uh, we moved for a better time slot and better promotion. So that there you was go. coherent. I, yeah, I thought it came out in, <laughs> in some sort of blurb. Yes, so uh, that's good. Uh, we also have a, uh, last week we saw a Reboot of Retro. We saw Screw Attack versus the Internet officially announced, as well as uh, our first challenge came down on Tuesday, or Monday or Tuesday, one of the two days, uh, where we challenged Machinima, the number one gaming uh, YouTube channel. We're taking you down, mofos. Uh, waiting for a response as of this second, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's a go. So be, look, be looking for an official date, official time, if that's not already, not already in the promo, because we're recording this on Monday, and uh, Monday afternoon I'm taking care of all that stuff. So, <laughs> we'll, we'll uh, it's, you know, hey, you gotta wait till people are open. We're working on West Coast time. So, anyways, um, so screw deck versus internet, machinima. Let's do this thing. It's going to be great. We hopefully uh, look forward to having you guys out, having your community out, having the Screw Attack community out, and uh, having a big old grand time. I think that's the most important thing here. So, um, oh yeah, and kicking your ass. Um, <laughs> we saw Game Theory uh, also on Screw Attack, which the uh, Game Theory episode was all based on um, war crimes on Call of Duty. Did you guys watch that episode? Yeah. I haven't got a chance to watch it yet. What did you think of that? It was pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, he always uh, he does a really good job of. Uh, Finding a unique argument. Yeah, I, the one thing though, I was like, man, I really hope people uh, didn't really want to know the ending to COD <laughs> or like oh, yeah. didn't care because it was like spoiler, 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 spoiler. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, the yeah. There were some spoilers. It's been there. several months. They had to. Yeah, they had yeah. To. If you haven't beat COD now, chances are you're probably you, going to beat it. You can beat it in like six hours. If you no. haven't now, chances are you didn't care enough about it. Yes. Yeah. But uh, uh, I like the show a lot. Yeah, great show. Uh, also, uh, we saw the second episode of the best ever this time on Power Ups. Um, so that was really fun. I look forward to our next episode, which is actually the worst ever, Sexy Chicks. So, uh, best ever, worst ever. My part got cut. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're too good. Uh, also saw Video Game Vault on Sim Farm. Uh, clip of the week on the, uh, apparently it was the saddest clip of the week in history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Uh, it was, it was sad, sad on multiple angles because, well, Lauren nearly went blind afterwards. Yeah, that was so. bad. <laughs> I felt so bad, dude. But she's it pretty much was your fault. Yeah. Well, she's the one who did the hairspray, man. She was the one who wanted to. I said we had the wig, so. But yeah, she basically got glitter in her eye, and it was, it was bad. It's like having a needle just constantly rammed in her eye. Yeah, but if you want to see Lauren as, as uh, Nurse Joy, you should go check out the clip of the week. Um, also, we saw the indie game Wave Cave, which we uh, saw up at MAGFest. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, the game Overthinker, episode 65, debuted on the site on Tuesday. So, um, tons of stuff. Hey, yeah. uh, there is something that I, I posted something on uh, Sunday night. I would love to get y'all's input on. Uh, I'm just kind of getting a, a gauge as to what y'all's favorite shows are, uh, what you guys like, what you don't don't like, uh, as to kind of where we should take our production moving forward and such. So, um, you know, we're not going to cut anything right now. So, <laughs> but uh, you know, <laughs> <Right now. laughs> but like like out, out of the box. Yeah, that's a great example, right? It's it's a it's a good show. It serves multiple purposes. It's kind of a preview show, but at the same time, we don't do it live. But not many people watch it. So. Brian's right there. I know. <laughs> well, no, no, no. It's, it's not like first G1 spotlight, and now out of the well, box. No, it's, it's not like out of the box. Is like it's like super easy to make. It's just something. 
<laughs> Ryan, I'm sorry, you're fired. Jay? <laughs> Live on the air. Get the fuck out of here! No. Well, as, as the camera just drops. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, see ya. There you go. Great. Now that he's gone, we can really let loose. <laughs> anyway, so, uh... Got a good week this week. Hey! Hard news time. It's time for my favorite segment, your favorite segment. Everybody, world's favorite segment is time Hard. Oh man. Best news. one yet. <laughs> All the days goes from this Wow. Time hey, Brian's work. back. <laughs> hey, hey, glad, glad you came back. Glad we worked through that. Okay. <laughs> All right. I want a facepalm counter. For how many times we've facepalmed on this show? Well, why, why would you facepalm for that? What, <laughs> for the perfect transition? Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought, I thought, you, were about, I thought you were talking about, Brian like, out of the box. It's his fault. No. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Hard news. Talking Nintendo. Lots of Nintendo stuff. Nintendo had a uh, financial presentation earlier this week and they did a lot of discussion about the Wii U. A lot of good stuff. First off, they did confirm that it will be out pretty much globally before Christmas this year. So you can't expect it this year. Uh, they also announced the Nintendo Network, which is their online infrastructure for both the Wii U and the 3DS. It is going to support DLC, some sort of profile system. We can have multiple profiles per Wii U, so you have multiple people in your house. Not much known about that. Uh, they say they may do digital releases of their full retail games. Hmm. So you may, okay. like Steam style, just be able to download it around that or Xbox. Will, they, mm -hmm. will they be cheaper? That's the question. That's Probably the question. not, because yes. no one's making some cheap because they're jerks. <laughs> <laughs> um, they also announced the uh, use of the uh, NFC, which I just totally blanked on what it meant, stand, stood for. Near field communications. Near field communications. I forgot the end part. Thank you. Near field communications. We're basically using radio communications to interact with objects within the room. The closest uh, application you could probably think of is Skylander Spiral's Adventure, okay. where you put the figure on the little portal. Mm -hmm. That's the same kind of technology, only with the Wii U, that's built in, so you don't need the little portal attachment. So that that's way crazy. you can use like maybe the controller to interact directly with that system or someone else's system to like get your save files or whatever. Mm -hmm. Instead they could use it for like uh, payments for like uh, buying stuff online or... It reads your credit card in your pocket, you know? Yeah. Okay. Just a lot of applications with that. I'm sure they're gonna do something with Pokemon about it yeah, eventually. Sure. Of course. You know, that's inevitable. You go, oh Skyrim, that's yeah. really nice. Oh, Pokemon, that yep. And then finally, the uh, this, this is the only real rumored part, but they're saying that the super high ups over at Nintendo are highly discussing changing the name of the Wii U. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to that say. That would be a personal victory for Now, me. it is just a rumor, so it's not really con uh, confirmed, but they're saying that one of the reasons they're doing about that is because Nintendo did learn a lot from the 3DS. There was a lot of name brand confusion Fusion. with that because a lot of people thought it was just a DS with minor upgrades rather than an all new hardware platform right. mm -hmm. which is already what people are saying about the Wii U the moment it was announced that yeah. was something we were saying at E3 mm -hmm. it even looks like it they really yeah. shouldn't yeah. Yeah. it looks just like a Wii it, there's nothing to it, it needs uses to, the it, Wii controllers it, it needs yeah. to be black with cartridges and <laughs> <laughs> it just needs oh, to cartridges totally, would be sweet and shoot lasers it's just totally <laughs> abandon everything they've gone with light shoot out of it onto the ceiling so you can see constellations mm. there you go mm, I like it yeah, I, disco boy man. So that brings that, that begs a question. Like, what would you name this console? The revolution. No, you don't name it the revolution. No, that was it. Everybody thought it was gonna be the revolution back then. That, that was the Wii. I know. Yeah, and they call it the Dolphin. <laughs> the dolphin. Just name anything it's used to be called. Wii that Ultra. Xenon. <laughs> That's what the Wii sta the U stands for. The Wii U. The Wii Ultra. Mm. Sixty-four. <laughs> Coming in 1994 to the Ultra 64. The Ultra. Yeah. <laughs> Killer exactly. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, um, that that makes me happy in my pants. Uh, I, I'm actually. What if they make a worse name though? Like, <laughs> something awful. Yeah, it's like the Wii Everybody. <laughs> the Wii Giggle Box. You know, it wouldn't surprise like. me if they just dropped the word Wii from it altogether. This name of the U, or or even just Super Wii. <laughs> my kids call it. It's just the just the singular letter. Just yeah, the U. U. We joked about it, but I think Super Wii would work. <laughs> Dude, no. <laughs> Behold super my Super, super Wii! <laughs> hey, you want to play with my Super Wii? But it's that, far superior to the one before. With <laughs> that said, it would do a way better job explaining that it is a Everybody upgrade. knows Super Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Super Wii. Yeah. Dude, that would be so dumb. I'm sorry. Mega Wii. <laughs> I've never Ultra liked Wii. the Wii name. The Super Wii 64 Cube. <laughs> I like that one. There you go. Mm -hmm. Done. Fa Famicom. Famicom. <laughs> Famicom. <laughs> Yeah. Super well, that, Wii 64 that, Cube Kong? 
Oh, and also something about a uh, 2D Mario game coming? Oh yeah, they also said that they are doing a brand new 2D side-scrolling Mario game for the 3DS. A la New Super Mario Brothers, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, only for the 3DS. <laughs> also coming this year. That, that's exciting, that's cool yeah. to hear. I, I, anytime there's a 2D Mario platformer, that makes me happy. And you know they're gonna include online play with that, because they did it with like Mario Kart, Mario Kart turned with out Mario really game, Mario side-scroller? Yeah, why not? I don't know about that one. Why would they not? Why didn't they do a 3D Land? Because it was a test drive? I don't know. I mean, I, I think like the Mario Kart thing turned out really good, and, and the online play for Mario Kart's I, th I thought it's pretty solid. So, why not make like a I don't know some sort of multiplayer aspect like the original Mario Brothers or something? <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be kind of fun? Like, yeah. If it was um, original Mario Brothers, I could see it handing off. But I'm sure it'll probably be in the new Super Mario line if they do, which four players would be necessary to make it. What if they just what's that what's that emulator game that we played that one time Mario Wars or whatever Mario Wars See, Mario War yeah yeah. It's, yeah like that's they should just make that that'd be great <laughs> <laughs> put it online people will play it's ridiculously addicting and fun all right next story oh. is one that everyone's talking about kind of <laughs> I don't know if talk would be the word I would use more yell oh okay mm -hmm. Mega Man's back, baby! Oh yeah. oh yeah! Holy crap! It's what everyone's been asking for. They're like, we want Mega Man. Mega Man Legends is gone. Mega Man Universe is gone. We want Mega Man. And Capcom said, you got it. So they put Mega Man in to Street Fighter Cross Tekken for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, and he's a big fat yellow guy. He's really let himself go. <laughs> they used uh, basically the bad box art Mega Man from Mega Man One, the American release, as a basis for Mega Man in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Yeah. And Pac Man. The uh, also, Pac-Man riding a Mokujin, which is hilarious. Uh, and the fans have reacted. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, how do you guys feel? Okay, so um, Destin sent this to me, and he's like, hey, we got this thing up on, on IGN, so I posted it on our site as a trailer, and I put the title, Does Capcom Want to Kill Mega Man? Apparently, yes. <laughs> and um, I think... There's, there's a lot of different ways you can look at this. And for me, this is one of those things where I think just with all the circumstances, and I can put my tinfoil hat on if I want, but with all the circumstances, with, with Inafune leaving, with uh, Legends being gone, with Legends being shelved, with... Uh, universe. Yeah, with Universe being shelved, all, all these different ways. And there's such a clamoring for Mega Man, then all of a sudden it's... Here's a fat guy who kind of looks like bad box, box, box art Mega Man. I don't know if it's like a slap in the face to Inafune. I don't think it's, you know, or right. if it's just like... Well, I can pop that conspiracy bubble of yours. Yeah, yeah go ahead, I don't this, know. Uh, Inafune pretty much des uh, uh, okayed this design over a year ago. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's funny. He thought it was funny. It, 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 look, it is funny. <laughs> I think funny. it's hilarious. It is funny, but like, okay, that's good, because it's like one of those things you don't know until, until you hear, you know, so... Yeah. I am not pissed about it. I know a lot of people are pissed, but relax, come on. Besides, from like a gameplay perspective, with Street Fighter Cross Tekken, they're pretty much mostly humanoid characters. Right. Mega well, Man is not proportionate. Kind of. For a game like this. Yeah, but I mean, Tekken's always been weird about that kind of stuff. Tekken can have God knows what. Tekken had a yeah, little Tekken, dinosaur. Yeah, Tekken had, like, had Ogre and Troger and... Somebody put yeah. something about uh, one of the Jim G1s. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it in the Ogre comments. Um, Either way, like, in my head, like, normal, normal Mega Man, doesn't no. I don't, I don't see it playing. You know, I see what you're saying. I like. I think the new Mega Man's funny. Just a big fat guy with a gun. See, I'm not. I'm not mad, <coughs> but I still am just like, what? Like really? Like you know? Like I'm just still trying to wrap my head around. Well, it. they it's just put so weird. They put Pac-Man in there writing a Mokujin as an which is another thing. Joke character. So then, how do you reciprocate that? <laughs> well, everyone wants Mega Man. Well, we can't have cool Mega Man that outweighs Pac Man riding a Mokujin. Yeah. So we made Joker Mega Man. But it's all PS3. But he's kind. Of, yeah. But but he's yeah. also kind of uh, kind of Tron Bonish, I guess, in, in his aspect. What? Mega Pac -Man. Man or Pac Man? Oh. You know, I mean, kind of. It's kind of that effect. I'm trying to find this comment this G1 put. Apparently, uh, this version of Mega Man it was taken from the Legends universe of some sort. Um, uh, let me see. Legends? Yeah, I, I, I read the comment oh, about just it. Off the, based off the box art. They had him in Mega Man Universe, but never in Legends. No, it was, it had something, I, I gotta find it. He said he read it straight off the ja uh, Japanese website or something. Um, let's see, let's see if I can find it. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep digging while you guys keep talking. Yeah. So anyways. So, I don't know if I have much more to say. I think it's funny. Everyone needs to react, relax. 
yeah, it's games. Games are about fun. But, like, it's just weird because that's just such a, like, but, a character that everyone loves. You know, that's one of those characters that everybody yeah. loves. And then to put that sort of rendition of him, it's like a slap in the face of that character. But that's I, why I see people getting on bristly. I think, I'm, I think everyone's go. going, fuck you, Capcom. You obviously hate us. You hate Mega uh, Man. <laughs> if you didn't do anything at all, then you could worry. There you go. This is from... You don't know about you. This is uh, from uh, Kaiba Man six, uh, 41 from the Japanese website of the game for Mega Man. This Mega Man represents Mega Man Trigger from the Legend series as follows. Uh, Mega Man middle-aged hero. Known as Digger, a person who digs up relics from the past for research. He is a hot-tempered man, uh, but has a strong sense of justice and is also very polite. His weak point is that he's, he's easily rattled when backed into a corner. He is always running around in a hurry due to the demands of his partner, Roll. And this time, he's been asked to travel to Antarctica to retrieve a mysterious box. That's what that. That's from the. <laughs> apparently, that's from the. That's Japanese like a copy pasted plot to one of the Legends games. I don't think that has anything to do with this Mega Man. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It just says. Yeah. No. I don't buy it. Not okay. for a second. Interesting, but either way. Especially but, as they don't have like even the moderately the same facial structure. Like he's got a very strong jaw, whereas uh, Mega Man Rock Trigger, if you will. Had like a very pointy anime look, whatever. <laughs> it's not, it's not Legends, Legends Mega Man. I think it's just some web, other website trying to tie them together to say Legends is still alive. Yeah. yeah, I look. To kind of put my bow on this, when I first saw it, I was like, "What the fuck?" And then I kind of thought about it, and I'm not, I'm not mad. I just, it's just and it's, it's not going to be weird. Yeah, it's just, it's just weird. Like I. Wish they would have made him like a traditional Mega Man, or even just regular Bod. I think the thing that gets me is the gut. That's the only thing that gets me. It's just the gut. <laughs> Why didn't Mega Man let himself go? That, damn that's, it! That's, well, that's, I just like that his helmet head is like his striped on the middle goes off to the side very poorly. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even notice that. It's great. I think that's that's really the only thing that bothers me. It's just his gut. He's a superhero, man. All right. Yeah. And in the end, Microsoft dragged the uh, dragged the feet on exclusive characters, so mm -hmm. those are only going to be man. on PS3. That's hard news. Okay, great. Well, that was a very long hard news, <laughs> uh, and lots of great discussion. So I figured, uh, since it is uh, February uh, now, we should get into uh, what, Chad? Game Brewery! Game Brewery. Jared, go! We're talking about the games coming out in February and our thoughts and what you guys think about it. Starting off, there really isn't a whole lot next week, because all the games still release in January, technically, so I'm going to skip mm -hmm. those. But the week right after that, there's a lot of stuff coming out in February. All coming out on February 7th, we got Darkness 2. Mm -hmm. A game that has a lot of buzz behind it. Uh, actually, we're gonna have that, the demo of it that you can play on uh, on Screw Attack. Oh, good. Through Geiger. Brian and I are awesome. playing the demo on screwing around. It's interesting. Yeah, I'm actually really intrigued by it. Mm -hmm. Did you guys play the first one at all? No. Yes. No. Uh, I didn't. Brian, thank you. Yeah. Uh, second one looks really good. All right. Uh, also coming out on that day is Kingdoms of Amalur: Reckoning. That is the, uh, is that the game? Kurt Schilling. Yeah, Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling, Todd McFarlane, and R.A. Salvatore. Yes, Kurt Schilling, mm -hmm. the uh, former Major League Baseball player, uh, pitcher, who... Uh, the studio's name is his number. What? You didn't know that? <laughs> no. They what? snuck sports in on you, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kurt Schilling, uh, who you now know as a game developer... Is no! <laughs> <laughs> once pitched in the World Series with a bloody sock. I know, is your mind just shattered? Do you think so much less of that game now? Two out of ten! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, actually, I actually haven't played it yet, but I, I am looking forward to it. Good. You guys care? Nope. Alright. Not even if it's Kurt Schilling's game? No, I don't. <laughs> sports? I, I just think it's amazing that Kurt Schilling... He was a huge fucking nerd. Yeah, yeah, you think like... Uh, there's there's this misconception with athletes that they're all like, let's go kick some ass and let's go punch some babies. But we're... What? I don't know, testosterone. I'm just All saying. right. <laughs> but like, a lot, of, a lot of athletes are just straight up dorks. They just happen to be athletic. And I think Kurt Schilling is a great example of that. I had a Packer player who came into my GameStop all the time who was one of the biggest nerds in the world. It was great. Really? You come in, you talk about like Final Fantasy and Dragon Ball Z and <laughs> all this other super geeky stuff. And we had like some super nerdy conversations with him. It was awesome. <laughs> was awesome. Do, do you know who it was? Uh, he was a defensive guy. Okay. That narrows it down. <laughs> What year was it? Uh, this is four years ago. Four years ago? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe maybe we'll get a roster and you can tell uh, me who it was. Okay. That'll be good. Right. I, I, now I'm interested now. All right. Uh, also on that day, coming up for the 3DS, 
February 7th is Resident Evil Revelations. Revelations? Revelations. <laughs> yeah, they had some misspellings go out to some uh, limited edition. Copies. What's up? It's pretty hilarious. Uh, I am actually really excited for this game because I played the uh, E3 demo that they had back at E3. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. And they hit, released the same demo up on the uh, Nintendo eShop. Just as awesome. I yeah. think it's going to be really, really good. They're releasing demos on the eShop now? Yeah. God. I need to check it out. Yeah, you do. I don't spend a whole lot of time on the eShop. I guess not. No. I really, I've been back and forth. I, I I didn't buy a 3DS at launch, and I've been waiting and waiting. I'm just letting games accrue, you know, and the price to go as low as it will. But, like, I, say, I, 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 I don't I'm think the 3DS so, is going to drop anytime soon. I don't think it will yes. either. But, like, I've been so just, like, on the edge. Like, I almost bought one at MAGFest. <laughs> and, like, I don't know. Something's going to get me eventually. Are you, you don't play Resident Evil, do you? Uh, yeah, I've played a little bit of all of them, but I've never completed right. them. Yeah. Uh, that following Sunday is a brand new game for the Wii, Rhythm Heaven Fever. No? Oh, you, Jerry. No. I actually think the game's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I love Elite Beat oh, Agents. Elite Beat baseball. Agents is awesome. This is pretty much the same thing. Music and rhythm only on the Wii. Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm is going to be great, too. Music, Craig. I like music, but I don't know. DDR? We'll, we'll it, see. It's rhythm. Fine. Moving on. <laughs> uh, that following Tuesday, Twisted Metal for that, PS3. Awesome. That'll be fun. I'm excited to see yeah. how that... Yeah, you know, We saw it at E3, and that was mm -hmm. pretty fun when yeah. we played it. And, uh, I haven't played it yet. No, I used Brian's to love excited. Twisted Metal, so... Did, did you guys play Twisted Metal on the, on the original PlayStation? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Just make it sure, yeah. I didn't really get into the PS2 ones, though. I never mm -hmm. played those. Make sure, you uh, buy, make sure you buy it new, by the way. Yeah. Because you can't buy it new. I always buy my games new. I played uh, I played Painted Black, or uh, Twisted Metal Black um, on PS2, but I played a little bit of it, but it didn't really do it for me. How long has it been since a uh, Twisted Metal game? 2008 was uh, the PSP re-release. Okay, well, but it was like a, just a re-release from an earlier game. Was yeah, so, they, they so took the PSP game and put it on PS2. Okay, so nothing, nothing like you'd say original in the last. Uh, I guess original 0506. Yeah, so you know it's, it's, yeah, so it's was been it a while. Title? Was it? Wasn't wasn't the PSP Twist Metal launch title head on? Yes. Yeah, I'll say 05. And when was Black? Black, that was that was a long time ago. Oh, two or three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's, it's been a heck of a long time. I think that's the key I'm to excited. that's the key to these reboots is that they these series have to be gone just a long enough time to where you have a fond memory of them, but not long enough to where you totally forget about them. They know? need to incubate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also on that we day, can destroy some landmarks. I'm down. Reboot or retro. Also on that day on uh, 3DS is Tales of the Abyss. I don't know anything about that game. All right, cool. I'll probably play it. What, what is it? It's oh, okay. From the Tales games. Uh, and Tekken 3D Prime Edition. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I actually am not that big of a Tekken fan. I'm not either. I never have been. I'm like, yeah. I'll play it, but I'm not like, oh yeah, let's but go play Tekken. I think I'll get it so I can watch Tekken Blood Vengeance. The movie? I know, I know. That's a, That was the thing. When I saw that it was coming with that, I was like, I do kind of want to see Rocket Panda again. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, are they adding anything to that at all? Any, any, any new character or anything to the Tekken 3D Prime? Uh, I think it's pretty much Tekken 6. Yeah. Or just it's just a Tekken game. Okay. Yeah. This feels so bad for everybody who's in yep. the theater with us. All right. <laughs> yeah. A week after that, another 3DS game, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater 3D. Which yeah. I will buy. Well, you weren't. Re if I remember correctly, when you played the demo of that, you weren't really. Yeah. About E3. It. The E3 demo was not impressive at all. But they delayed it several times, and pretty much every preview since then has said they improved the crap out of it. How do you know? Just from them talking about it? Or? Yeah, they talked about it, they showed it. Frame rate's better. Oh, okay. Yeah. Control's better. Plus, the, I think the, having the Circle Pad Pro will help it tons. Do you have a Circle Pad Pro? It's not out yet. Oh. Yeah, I'll probably, probably, I'll when, probably when get one to use for uh, Resident Evil. Comes out at the same time. Okay. Uh, also on that day, a Sewer's Wrath. Yeah. That, that is such a weird game. That caught a lot of buzz early, and then it kind of fell off a little bit. I'm, go I'm, play I'm going to play it because I'm interested. But I don't think it's going to be that good because it's essentially Dragon's Lair, mm -hmm. where the, like the whole damn thing's quick time events. Right. Yeah, it looks like it. It's just all about look yeah. how ridiculously epic we I, can make things. It's absolutely ridiculous, and the action is well beyond over the top. Oh yeah. But gameplay wise, I don't know. We'll see. Also on that day, Syndicate. Oh you. Syndicate. <sighs> I am intrigued. I don't know if I'll say excited. But I will say intrigued. 
just because I actually played the crap out of the 1993 mm. original, 94? Man, that's an old game. Has it been that long? Yeah. Jeez. That's crazy. It was early 90s. It was a real-time strategy game. Now they're making it into a first-person shooter. Which, which, which I know you love. Yeah, uh, a lot. It's got four-player co-op, though, which I am all about co-op. But I actually do think it looks interesting. So what, what's the big key? About, what's the key that makes this game different than any other FPS? It's all the technology stuff behind it. Meaning? Because uh, you basically use your brain to hack like turrets and computers. Uh, there's a lot more options that way instead of just running gun. You can uh, take over people's brains to make them fight for you or shoot themselves. What was that game that just came out? Cool. A lot of like brain hacking. Like psyops. What was the game that we the one? That You're was... thinking mind jack and no. yeah, saggy. No. Nope. Okay. Nope. I was like, what's the difference? <laughs> nope. But what? How? Why? No, what's? Gorillas. Nope. Same theory. You don't, yeah, you same... don't hack a gorilla at any point. <laughs> okay. Same premise though. Sounds like it's not. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> how dare you, sir? Uh, and I guess the only really other real thing to really mention in the month of February is the PlayStation Vita. That comes out mm. in a couple of weeks. Uh, I know Taco Bell's doing a big promotion right now to uh, give away some Vitas and such. You can get them before they're out from the Taco Bell. Of all the restaurants to associate yourself with, what's cheap food that'll just get you by? Taco <laughs> Bell. Taco Bell, yeah. I guess there's just one simple question. Are you guys going to get a Vita? No, uh, no. I didn't get a place. I uh, didn't get a PSP, um, and I won't be getting a Vita. Uh, I did get a PSP. I was swung because of the, it looked so good and it had the massive screen and yeah. I used it for a little while, but then I traded it in when I got my 360. So yeah, um, I, I don't really have much desire. I, I, they haven't really shown me much that really makes you go, "Wow, I need a, a Vita." Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's like we we had this conversation in the car the other day when we were coming back from Tornado Terry's. Uh, it was like. The handheld market is a lot different than regular console market in that once you kind of have one handheld, you don't really need a second handheld. You know, like I think the the home console market is like, okay, I got a Wii, uh, but I can also use a 360. Whereas nobody wants to carry around a, three, a 3DS and a Vita. You know what I mean? At the same time, or, or they don't. You know, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just a different. It's all circumstantial. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's always. If you're going like on that, a family though. trip, I'll bring everything I have, so I don't get bored. <laughs> <laughs> sure, but just... whatever keeps me from dealing with my family. Uh, I will say, like, I I'll probably get a Vita eventually because I know they'll eventually release stuff on it. Mm -hmm. But the only games I really want to play on it, that I can't even think of, is Uncharted, Uncharted. Mm -hmm. and uh, Shinobito 2. And what's that? It's a ninja game. I'm down there. It's made by the guys who uh, did the original ten shoes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's, I mean, I, I, I'm interested to mess around with it, but I'm not gonna buy it unless like I play it and I'm like, this is amazing. You know, that's what it would have to blow me away. Yeah. So, that's Game Brewery. Cool. All right. All right. Very nice. Thank you, Jared. Um, <clears throat> I want to know what you guys think. Are you guys gonna pick up Vitas? Post in the comments. That's uh, that, that intrigues me. I know that there's a lot of. Uh, Nintendo fanboys or PlayStation fanboys or Microsoft fanboys, just it doesn't matter. Just are you gonna buy it or not, and why or why not? That's I think that's that's intrigues me. I want to know what people think, especially when new consoles come out. Like what people are thinking. All right, uh, right now it's time for the Side School News Desk. Hit the music. Okay, a big thanks to all the G ones who sent in uh, sent us stuff this past week, including uh, Gazebo, the Diesel. Johnny Newbhead, uh, Christina, Plank, uh, Raven Valkyrie. <laughs> it's in black with red text. It's hard to read. Oh, you can't. Chalms the Gamer, uh, Batman Turkey, and uh, Dark Hyrule Lord. And uh, let's see. And last one. Holy crap! Yeah, uh, G1 Wyatt. So thank you for spending a lot of these stories. Thank you for sending the internet to me. Wyatt. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to. Let's go to uh, let's, let's go to China, where uh, okay there are Hooters, right? There's uh, there's places uh, just just follow you mean me. The restaurant, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, restaurants are, they always have their gimmicks. There's there's Hooters. Um, there's a place, there's a barbecue place close to us called uh, Big Racks, which it's supposed to be like beer uh -huh. get. Um, and oh boobs! Oh, yeah. yeah. So there's all Tilted these kills, there's all these yeah there's all these like different different gimmicks to Wendy's. restaurants and such yeah. Wait, are you meaning specifically sexually or are just, you just, saying just gimmicks in general? Just gimmicks in general. But your only but, examples yeah, are, the, are, are the sexual ones, but <laughs> okay. and this one could be sexual in a weird way. 
Hooters in Tokyo. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> big racks. Uh, in China, a new restaurant has formed um, called The Shit House. <laughs> The shit house restaurant, and it's insanely popular. Okay. Where they serve your food in toilets. What the fuck? <laughs> in toilets. Ah, and uh, and bedpans. What? And that people are like, this place is blowing up because apparently it's like really good food too. Um, they're not like real toilets. They're just like little mini toilets that are. Uh, training toilets. Yeah, but still, like, <laughs> so, can you get past the mentality of that? Like, so the gimmick is there's nothing really different about the restaurant. It's just the presentation of the food. And then it's called the shit house. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's oh, that's kind of right. the idea behind Hooters as well. You just start, you're just getting wings, and you got chicks with boobs. You got something to look at. Yep. This one is just uh, might as well be a, just a plate or a bowl. Isn't it cheap like a toilet? Well, here's the okay. It says. Uh, co-owner Feng Lu says, We had the idea when we were discussing one of the worst restaurants we've ever eaten in, and one of us said it would it, uh, it had been a real toilet. So we decided to see if we could make a restaurant that was just one big toilet. We can't believe how successful, successful it's been. <laughs> now, we're, now we're thinking about opening a chain <laughs> called The Shit, the shit House. All right. so, uh, wow. Did I ever tell you guys about my theme restaurant idea? No. It's called Dick's. <laughs> yeah? Where everyone treats you like crap. Dick's Last Resort? Yeah, there's already Dick's Last Resort. What? Yeah. Are you serious? You never heard of this before? No. Yeah, <laughs> it's called Dick's Last Resort. It's seriously called Dick's, yeah. And they, they come in, they're like, what do you want? And yeah, they're assholes they're to you. They're total dicks to you. <laughs> Sorry, Jared. We should, we should take him there sometime. You should take him there. Crush his, crush his heart. <laughs> crush That's his heart. hilarious. You, I thought you were joking at first. Sorry, Jared. Yeah, it's Dick's Last Resort. They're, it, they're, it's not a good experience. Well, I mean, it is depending on what you want. You know what? I feel like being treated like shit, you know? I'm just going to... I have to rethink my future now. <laughs> oh, yeah, check it out. See, yeah, my yeah. hopes and dreams. Dick's are gone. Who's right. Dick? There you go. Awesome. Next story. <laughs> See, and they'll take these things and wrap them, and make these ridiculous hats, and write horrible things yeah. on them. Cool. Next story. All right, big. <laughs> hey, this this will cheer you up. Will it? Yeah, you're a gamer. You like video games. Does a child die? Uh, nope. Mm. But in uh, Spain, <laughs> in Spain, they have unveiled a brand new road. In, okay. uh, in a uh, is it Rainbow Road neighborhood? <laughs> no, yeah. no, it's Super Mario Road. Are they allowed to do that? Yes, they are. That's awesome. Uh, is Nintendo gonna be like? You can't name that road Super Mario Road. Yeah. Uh, so they uh, this neighborhood. They uh, you know it's funny because uh, I am part of the neighborhood association where I live, and this neighborhood association is trying to draw a younger audience. So, so they are naming, uh, they did an online poll based, like, they should say, should it be video games, should it be, uh, comic characters, whatever, That's so, so they're gonna name all these streets after, after different video game characters, the video game characters won. Super we need Mario is the, the first one. We need to bring in the younger audience, our tourism of our neighborhood is way down. Well, they just want a younger audience Dude. to have their streets named after, because they, they figure that people, Mario's 25 now, right, and with Mario being 25, uh, they want like the younger audience that grew up with them to kind of come into come into their uh, their neighborhood. How old is this story? Because Mario's older than twenty five. Oh well, apparently this is in uh, two thousand ten. Yeah. So. Okay. okay, dude. <laughs> th th thanks, G one, who sent this in to me. Could you? <laughs> I didn't look at the date. Could you imagine, like ordering anything to that house? No one's ever gonna take you seriously. You're never gonna get your shit. You're gonna be like, oh, this person ordered something to. Oh, uh, let's let's see, two four eight. Super Mario Road. Ah, oh, son of a I'm bitch. I'm not just living you know? there. It takes two warp whistles just to get there. <laughs> oh, God. There's also plans to make Sonic the Hedgehog Road, Space Invaders, and The Legend of Zelda Road. So, <laughs> way to go. I'm surprised none awesome. of them were like, Call of Duty Road, yeah. Master Chief Road. Halo Road. Yeah. <laughs> I would drive on Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road. <laughs> and then at one night, like I bet you 3, would. 4 o'clock in the morning, I'd get a bunch of friends, a bunch of paint buckets. And just rollers and just go across it and just get all the crazy ass colors one night. So when people wake up, boom, rainbow road. And then you could try and hit a curb and take the shortcut. <laughs> we would remove all the curbs so you'd fall off. Oh, okay, nice. Fall into what? You just into take a, a trench? Yeah. Like all, <laughs> all these cars. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, finally, let's go to Florida, uh, Clearwater, Florida. We've been here several yeah, yeah, yeah. times. I know. Clearwater is a scary place. Clear, Clearwater is, uh, I've actually been to Clearwater before. Uh, okay. I spent time in the beach there, but I'm. It's weird. Want to go back? It's weird to think that uh, while I was there, this this happened. All right. Um, while you were there. Well, yes, and you'll understand why here in a second. Um, 
All right. A manager of a self-storage facility made a shocking discovery oh, on Thursday after a customer revealed that her family had held their grandmother's corpse in a rented unit for approximately 17 years. Please tell me it was like refrigerated or something. <laughs> well, it had to have been because I, I would imagine it has been because otherwise it would, it would, the smell would have been horrible. Like just, yeah. All right, so uh, the manager uh, called this um, called this woman whose name was on top of it and said, "Hey, you're, you're past rent. I'm gonna I'm gonna put your stuff up for auction." And she goes, uh, "No, you can't put my stuff up for auction because my grandmother's in there. My mom told me on her deathbed that grandma is in the self storage unit." <laughs> And oh my so her god! Mom died. She didn't even know until she, yeah. on her mom's deathbed. By the way, grandma's in the storage unit. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so grandma is in the in there. Been there, been in there since 1995. Think about where the internet was in 1995. Grandma's been there since then. All right. Think oh about think about what god. you were think about what you were playing in 1995. How old were you in 1995? Well, grandma's been there the entire time. Right? Yeah. Dude, I was that, rocking Chrono Trigger when she yeah. died. That's right. Dude, that is so funny. She was born in the year, in Jan January 1st, 1900. Whoa! <laughs> and she, Dude, she made it 95 years. Yeah. Quick math, I like it. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, um, skeptical of the conversation, uh, the dude didn't check the storage unit until Tuesday, uh, until Thursday, when he opened the door and saw a long blue casket and immediately contacted the police department. Oh, at least she's in the casket. Yeah. I yeah, thought she, she was just like, like, I thought they just kind of walked in. She's like <laughs> hanging from her. Well, they don't know why she wasn't <laughs> She wasn't buried. Apparently it must have been a money issue or something. Yeah, probably. So, um, it really is just cheaper to get storage. <laughs> you can put a lot of our stuff in there too. Well, yeah. just store for now yeah. and then when we got the money. Well, you would think that like, okay, so the lady died. Um, okay, so the, the, the daughter Right of the mother, the mother died. The mother was born in 1929. The daughter was born in 1957. So this isn't like some 20 year old, you know, 25. Okay. You know, this is an older woman right. who is now 65 herself. Mm -hmm. Right. And so like you would think that she would have enough common sense to say, you know, grandma probably needs to be put in the ground sometime, or put out <laughs> right. in the ocean, or you know, burnt up or whatever they do. You know. I don't know, it's just kind of fucked up, so. I heard up. <laughs> Not cremated. <laughs> so. I like that. That's so messed up, though. Dude. Like, Sorge, could you imagine running one of those things? Because people can put anything in there. I know, I know. That freaked me out, dude. Like, all the shit that you might find in there. Well, we have merchandise in storage now. I know. And, and, and think about what's next star. I know. Area. Yeah. That's exactly what I think about every time I walk past all those doors. I'm like, uh, corpses and Delicious. stuff. Delicious. All right, there you go. That's the news just for this week. Let's go to forum questions. All right. <laughs> Good God. Good God what, Chad? That story. Uh, oh. First up, we have a video question from G1 Dark Void. Hey, Screw Attack. Um, my video question is, have you ever gotten to a point in a game that's just so hard or so repetitive or boring that you stop playing for a long time? Dark Void, I have a question for you, first off. Is your name named after the 2010 PS3 Xbox game, the Dark Void. The Capcom game? You looked it, it up. Yes, yes, yes. Is, is, that, is that what it's from? Because I, I think it's based off of the DSi D-Make, 8-bit Dark Void Zero. I just, I wonder. Which was Maybe he just likes Xbox space. I, I'm just curious. Maybe he went to find a void. Maybe because your name, they were dark. because your name is a great example of a game that was so boring and tedious that I stopped playing. So I think that's a great example, so. <laughs> it's true. I, I wanted that game to be so good. I wanted Dark Void to be so good, and it wasn't. Is that the Rocketeer Yeah, one? it was the Rocketeer no, game. Right. God. Why can't anybody just make a game with rocket with a rocket pack? That's awesome. Tribes. That the entire game is based around rocket packs. Tribes. It's tribes. The entire game is an adventure game based around rocket packs where you shoot other people not named tribes. Star Wars, Shadows of the Empire. An entire game with a rocket pack just like the Rocketeer with a cool helmet called the Rocketeer, made by Disney, <laughs> not called Dark Void. Rocketeer, anyways. Yeah. A game not on the NES yes. <laughs> with a rocket pack that is really good, or the Super Nintendo called the Rocketeer for next-gen consoles. Did you ever play Shadows of the Empire? Craig? I got nothing. 
<laughs> you ever play Shadow of the Empire? No. It was an awesome game. You really should have played it. Is there jetpacks? Yeah. Yep. I want to play it. Really good. Um, to answer his question. <laughs> correct answer was Darkroid. Yes. Um, I don't know if I've ever gotten to a point where I just like, like stopped playing the game, but like, I'll tell you what, you know what? Nothing sucks my soul out and makes me lose <laughs> my desire to continue playing the game than after I beat the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time. Like, oh, man. once you beat that dude, you're like, just like, I need to take a fucking break. Like, I hate that goddamn thing. One that I should have stopped playing because it's so repetitive and boring, but I didn't. Was Final Fantasy XIII. <laughs> <laughs> one or two. First one. Both. The first one. Uh, but the only game I ever really walked away from because I got so frustrated with it was Trauma Center for the Wii. If, uh, I don't remember what mission it is, but basically there's stupid little triangle pin things where you gotta pull them out in just the right order, otherwise sure. they regenerate, and it never made any friggin' sense to me, and I never got past it. You're, you're <laughs> regenerating bruise or, or no, pins it, in your body? No, it was <laughs> like zombie cancer inside of them. <laughs> Good. Zombie cancer, that's the worst kind. Yeah. So I think that pretty much sums it up. Yeah. Dark Void, zombie cancer. There we go. And water temple. <laughs> Next up, uh, Lewis Conception asks, have you ever been accused of cheating when what you did was actually part of the game? Online? Oh yeah, on online you get that all the Anywhere. time. Yeah, I, I see. Yeah. Hacks, hacks, Anywhere. yeah, all the time. Um, you know, and, and uh, you know, I, I think it's one of those things where even if you're not really good at a game and you're just owning it up, you're just having a really good game, you know, like in a Call of Duty or Halo or something, you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna get that thrown at you. Hacks. Counter-Strike all the time for me. Because I, I used to play way too much Counter-Strike and like I just used the M4 and I could headshot people from like across the map, you know, and everyone's like, oh, hacks, 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 blah, blah. Well, Counter-Strike's known for its hacks. Yeah, it's because it was on PC. Yeah. Usually PC games, you know, people hack a lot, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I got that all the time. I get kicked from servers and I never hacked once. It was Would ridiculous. you count jumping half the course on Rainbow Road on Mario Kart 64? <laughs> uh, I think, I think it's part of the game. It is part or, of the game. Or what about an F-Zero, where we jumped that, we had that, the biggest jump ever? I guess that was a cheat, and the game said, no, you go back. Super Mario 64, can you, you can jump the road. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. And stuff. Well, you have to do that if you want to get the star. It's part of the game. Yep. Yep. So. Oh, you know what? Oh, a great, great example of hacks is that glitch in uh, Mario. Speaking of Mario Kart, Mario Kart 3D, uh, 3DS. Oh yeah. In Waku Maku or the, Ma, whatever it is. Whatever Waku Island, yeah. where you like fall off uh, at a certain point and you basically skip one third of the course. Mm -hmm. That's cheating. Yes. Yeah. That's a glitch in the next point, and I have never done it online. And every time I played online, especially against G1s, you know who you are. You cheated. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, remember the Halo Super Jump. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the Halo Super Jump was fun. That was technically part of the game. But like... no, that, was, that was cheating. <laughs> I actually did do that. Uh, I, I, no, no, no. I saw a ghost do it. Uh, I was, I was waiting, like, doing a time trial of that, and I saw a ghost do it, and I was like, "All right, fine, ghost, you oh, gotta do it." So you're behind the ghost? Yeah. So I was behind the ghost. Saw him go off. Saw him do it, and and, <laughs> sure. th and then and then I used his strategy, and now I have the best time on all the ghosts. Oh, you're so cool. <laughs> what Cheating else? Bastard. Uh, next up, we have a video question from MJ Robots. Hi ScrewTech, it's G1 MJ Robots here. I'm just wondering, what kind of remote control combat robot would you build to defeat all the staff's as combat robots in a Royal Rumble match? It's a wonderful question. I would defeat, I would create the Megazord. And that, <laughs> that is what I, or Voltron. No, you're realistic. Like if you I would create build... Voltron. <laughs> Well, now... Voltron! <laughs> Fine. I have five robots. <laughs> and they all win. You can't beat Voltron. I wouldn't make one. That, you remember that, BattleBots? That. Oh, fine. Voltron. Never mind, apparently the answer is Voltron and you don't get to hear from us. <laughs> well, no, no, on to birthdays! Go, go ahead, go so, ahead, go ahead. What? Tell them your crappy you answer. You remember the BattleBot <laughs> show? Whatever the hell it was called. I think it was called BattleBots. Um, English version was better? Yeah. Yeah. I always thought, like... Why not just cover one with saw blades? Like, spinning saw blades all around it so that anything that would ever try and attack it would get cut by the saw blades. Because Voltron would hit it with its sword. You and can't build Voltron. Okay, go build Voltron. I'm just saying, if I was, I would build Voltron. If I had the ability. What about you, Jared? Mastodon! <laughs> oh, God. He gets it. All right, uh, hey, did you want to say something about video questions real quick? 
Oh, yes. Yeah, so if you're making video questions, please, please, please do not send the file itself because there's a good chance that I won't be able to use it. The easiest way to do it is to upload it onto YouTube. And send, send me a the, link. Send the YouTube link or post it as a video response to this episode of Side Scrollers. Do not send the video file. Man. All right. Birthdays. Birthdays. I don't remember what the challenge was because nobody did it. <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> but <laughs> but what we do have this will make you happy, Craig. <gasps> James Rolfe is Cammy. Yes. <laughs> Dark Lugia Master Gur <laughs> ah. said it's probably the dumbest thing he's ever done, but he thought it would make you happy. Okay, well I, I kind of see the Cammy, and I really see the short. Should have been a white shirt. I really but, see the short shorts. I like where, the touch of the beret. Yeah. Where, where, the where does the James Rolfe part come in? That's, I think, just the normal shirt. I don't, I, he got a button-up shirt. I guess he didn't have a white one. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll give him props for that. Yeah, he's the only person to do it. Quit hating. <laughs> I, I, I'll give him props. One for his shorts. His incredibly short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Almost two short shorts. But hey, whatever. I'm not going <laughs> to complain. Good effort. And then the other two birthdays I have just missed our deadline last week, which that's why I, I put them on here because I used his. So basically, Sunday night. If you do not get me the birthday pictures by Sunday night, they're not going to go up. So these are the last ones ever past the deadline. You have all been warned. Yeah. This is G1 Dashman, who's doing the cover of Shattered Hand. I like it. Right, which is pretty awesome. And yes, then yeah. we have Justin Van Horn, who dressed up as Meowth. Wonderful. That's, <laughs> that's great, actually. <laughs> I know. All right. So here's the thing. I think absence makes the hearts grow fonder sometimes. So with that, uh, because we've had such just horrible, horrible participation the last few weeks, I didn't think I they were that hard. But what was last week? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but Can we say something about Zelda, maybe? Or? If you have a birthday this week, I'm sorry. Oh. We will not feature your pictures next week because the rest of the G1's ruined it. They have to wait a year, Craig. Your birthday is canceled. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Hey, don't be mad at me. This is this is a this is a sum of everyone's lack of effort. Congrats on existing, everybody. I'm sorry if Craig just screwed you over. Look, we'll hit you the following week. How's that? There we go. Right. What's the point? We will not hit you the following week. You're canceled. Jared canceled you your never birthday. Existed. Jared, you're a what bad, a horrible man, Jared. person. What a why would you do that? All right, so <laughs> there you go. That is a side scroller for this week. Hopefully, everyone had a great time. I know I did. Uh, <laughs> Screw Tech versus the Internet. We got Machinima coming up later this month uh, out in California. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody out there. Yeah. Mark it on your calendars whenever it is. We'll, uh, we'll put promo up on Screw Attack on YouTube and everywhere else on the Internet as well. So um, we have Advantage content coming up very shortly, uh, right after this. And uh, let's see, what else we got? I know there's something else I wanted to mention, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, screwing around, 3 o'clock Central Standard Time. Make sure you guys meet us up every day, Monday through Friday, 3 o'clock Central Standard Time. So, until next week, uh, this has been Side Schoolers. Hey, I'm Senator Greg. I'm Chad. And I'm Jared. For Side Schoolers on ScrewAttack.com. Bye-bye.